Good morning, believers. Good morning, Israel. Good morning, Israel, you poor sons of guns. <laughs> you know, you're rich. You're rich in the mysteries of Christ, but you're... <sighs> the spirit <laughs> is strong and the flesh is weak. And Israel has some crazy problems with the spirit, I think, right now in these days. So I'm getting out of the truck. It's kind of cool. It's 7 o'clock, but... Um, this is like one of those super clear days here in in California. It's like, this is pretty rare right here. <clears throat> um, Long Beach. Palos Verdes Peninsula. And then the ships out here waiting to come into the harbor and Catalina. And then our mountains in the back. Yeah, it's pretty nice. No surf again, of course. Flat. Flat. <sighs> no one here. Just me. <laughs> oh, good morning. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving. You yeah. uh, get back in here. Ooh. Uh. Good morning, believers. Good morning, Israel. JD Nigel, Word of Truth. Jeff Deluch. Word of Truth. With JD Nigel. Get the sun out of my eyes. Do this every morning, huh? That's good. That means we got sun. How's that? Right on, right on, right on. Welcome, believers. Welcome, Israel. Grab my Bible. How y'all doing this morning? What's it like? <laughs> What's it like? Some of you know. What's it like to be over 60? <sighs> For me, uh, I have to try and forget about some of the things of the past and the past behaviors and move forward. Which isn't always easy. A lot of shattered dreams, a lot of victories and failures. Where you find you come to find out <laughs> some of the failures were actually victories. And some of the victories Turned out to be failures. Um, so today, <clears throat> let me say, <laughs> hey, we got another subscriber. Welcome, new subscriber. I didn't, your name didn't come up on my page, so I don't, I don't know who exactly you are, but I wanted to say hi to Captain Patton and the Most High Son, Cece Jones, and Ahmad, Valentine, if you're out there, buddy. Mr. Harris, son of a moth, 
Who else we got? Moto X, Jake, 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 Jake. Terry Estaverney. Right on, family. Welcome. Bible, 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 Bible teaching. Who is this God? Where is Jesus? Where is he? Is he over there? Is he in the field? Is he in the desert? He's on the throne. He's waiting. He's waiting to redeem us back. He's waiting for the he's he's waiting for the sign from the heavenly Father so he can <clears throat> come down and finish his work. So what what what's going on while he's gone? Let me pray, Heavenly Father. Bless your lovely people, your Masha people, the ones who follow you, the ones that want to be reconciled back to you, the ones that are trying to understand the mysteries of your creation in your story through your son Jesus Christ the word that gives us these truths these bigger revelations of what we're doing here and why we follow you and why you created us and through the Holy Spirit we have faith that these revelations will blossom into glory when we stand before you knowing your love and loving you and thanking you for redeeming us. Amen. So, what do I think is going on here? I think we're, we're in that last part of the story where there's a lot of knowledge, there's a lot of wisdom out here there's a lot of there's a lot of seeking that knowledge and wisdom also there's people looking there's people knowing that there's something that they that they need to know there's something that they want to know there's something that is drawing them to to God <sighs> right there's something that's drawing us towards him the Bible says in the end, he'll draw those that are saved to him, something to that effect. We're being drawn. We're, our, our attention is being, a lot of us are pulling away from the distractions of the world and we're um, being distracted by the Holy Spirit. Um. Because the Lord wants to get our attention. And so some of us have been I knew a little bit would go on the Bible, of course. Um, some of us that's what this lesson's going to be about. Some of us, most of the ones that are on this channel. Um, we've been given some kind of extra portion portion meaning shoulder we've been given that powerful shoulder that that hard hitting linebacker shoulder that people are like why why <laughs> why are you the way you are And um, they don't understand that we see farther, we, we know deeper, and, um, but we can't explain it. It's, it's put into a feeling. You can feel it in your spirit. And, you know, GMS and some of these, I don't know, GMS mostly is the only idiots that I hear say this don't get all up in your feelings be stoic you gotta they don't have no feelings they don't have it's all dry 
religiosity, 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 there's a word for you, it's all dry religiosity, and so I think we're fighting, not just them, we're fighting against a spirit of re religiosity out here, instead of actual spirituality. So what came up <clears throat> last night was um, why do some of us know it and some <laughs> why do some of us know more about the word than others? I'm going to try and be careful about the way I say these things and you know I'm very careful because I'm I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. If you don't know, I don't I don't want to do that. I don't want to make you feel like, "Oh, you you're dumb. You don't belong here." Um cuz you do. If you're here, you belong here. So I opened to the talents again. I hope you guys liked that lesson yesterday. There was some good stuff for me about um <laughs> See, Adonijah didn't tell his family that um, he wanted to be king and that he knew it probably wasn't his position, but he wanted to see what they thought, if it was his position or not. And so as Adonijah, I, I, um, I took it on my own self that I knew what to do. And the story of the talents made me real think about that because the one guy's like, Man, I'm gonna just hide it so I'm not I don't get shafted at the end and give it to the Lord. The Lord didn't tell him hide it. The Lord said, Go use that talent. And um he didn't he didn't go to the people that could have gave him good counsel. All he had to do was go to the money changers, the exchangers. They could have exchanged his fear for um hope. Hope that he would please his Lord when he came back. So, <laughs> the Lord led me here for a reason. Now I'm now I'm going this way. What is this hope? What is this hope that we have? See, Tony Williams tries to say work, works. Without works, there's no faith, and faith without works, and you got to have works, and you got to. I think faith comes before works. You're only going to work. My my this is my interpretation of works and faith. You're only going to work as much as you love that that master of yours that gave you the chance to um use his resources while he's gone. So, yesterday we we're talking about where is he? Where is Jesus? He's gone. He left us talents. He left us gifts. He left us a measure of faith. And so when Tony tries to tell people that, you know, he makes it really ridiculously um, sophomoric and simplistic when he says, oh, you people that aren't doing works, you're not, you're in trouble. You got to get out of the flesh. You got to. He's not only pointing fingers from a really um, un, <laughs> that's not a play. That he's not in any place to point fingers. In fact, none of us can really judge. That's that's not what we're here for. We're we're here to correct and reprove and possibly even rebuke. I, I try and rebuke these guys, but they don't, they're not going to take correction and reproof. The, the rebuke's just probably going to push them further away. So that's why I don't, I don't rebuke anyone who doesn't know. The Lord made it that way. And if you hear someone going, well, if you feel bad about not knowing, Ask the Lord for more knowledge. 
Get in the book. See, Tony and a lot of these Christian puppets that we have out here, they think if they went to church for 10 years and they served on the whatever little ministry they had and they got pumped up in the spirit and they think that they, you know, they're, they're, it's the blind leading the blind. They never really... They never really question anything. They grab onto certain doctrines that feel good to them, and then they walk around feeding that nasty fruit to other people. And there's a lot of scriptures, and I, we're going to go into that today. There's a lot of... <laughs> the Bible talks about the Word as a mystery, as a... A hidden thing. And anybody that is going to come walking around this flat plane, this prison we have here, this snow globe, walking around this snow globe going, oh yeah, I know God. I know what he wants. This is what you need to do. This is what, I, this is what I'm doing. You better do this. Yeah. That's, <laughs> it was funny. I was, I was looking at Tony's comment board to see if anyone was disagreeing with his stupidity and the one guy goes thank you tony for your for my morning comedy and that guy put it in good context the guy's a, a joke it really is funny if you can i love listening to him because it, it it it's comical it really is the guy had it right he's he's funny in a way that's not even really funny because he's preaching against himself you hear him saying things and he's actually preaching against his own doctrine and it's like, wow, that's some crazy deception. He's, he doesn't even understand what he's saying is against his point. All right. So yeah, it's comedy. He's, he's a hilarious, he's a hilariously messed up Christian. But anyway, um, so Matthew, the, the, oh, sorry. Blah, 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 blah. The disciples, the disciples, Matthew 13, it's like you. Um, the apostles asked Jesus, why do you talk to these, why are you talking parables? Let's see, see what it says. 13, 10. <clears throat> And the disciples came and said unto him, Why do you speak to them in parables? 13, Matthew 13, 10. And he answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. So when you think of these talents that the master gave these servants, if you got five talents, you actually have more responsibility. He gave you more because he knew you could do, you were able to do more and you would do more. And he gave the one guy two because he hoped that he would do as well as the guy with five and he gave the one guy one because he's giving him a chance here's your amount of faith so when Tony Baloney tries to tell people do the works do this do that he never explains what the works are that's his fucking problem is what are works Tony what are you talking about what is the definition of the works that God wants you to do and then you have to break it down. Not only do you, do you have to understand what the works that you could be doing, how many talents you have, how much faith you have, me, you, what are you given? I was given a lot. I have to be a motherfucker. I have to be out here doing this. I don't have no leeway. I got a whole stack of talents that I need to share with you people. So 
so you can go and share with other people. That's all I, that's the way I see it. There's no, I can't tell you what to do with what I give you. You've got to know what you've got. If you don't have much, you just say, I love God. I, I believe in Jesus Christ. I believe in the blood. And you find the five or 10 things that you believe in that you know, and you, you tell people that, right? <laughs> so he doesn't, he doesn't define what it means to do good works. What's it mean to, what's it, what's he, <laughs> what are, what are, what's the Bible talking about, Tony? Bro, you never explain yourself. <clears throat> you never have any deeper, you just say the same shit over and over again. There's no depth of your mind. You're stupid, Tony. You can't even explain what you want these people to do. You're telling them to do something that you're not even explaining it. Anyway, I want to get mad. So, not every, how's he say it? For whoever has, to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance. But whosoever has not, from him shall be taken away even that that he has. Um, Tony's going to find out a hard lesson about misrepresenting what you have. And <clears throat> that's why these pastors that are making a bunch of money off people. God gave them some talents. What did he give him talent for? A talent for wickedness. Let me take, take, take and give back half-truths, lies. So those, those prosperity preachers, those guys making all that money off the teachings... They're gonna they're gonna be so in the negative when they get to the kingdom. It's they better enjoy that those planes and those cars and those concerts and those fancy dinners now. It's not gonna be so fancy in the kingdom. <clears throat> so what's Jesus what's Jesus telling them? Why why does he talk to them in parables? So they let me keep reading. So they so they don't want to understand. It's not for everyone to understand. And that's another place where this idiot, Tony Williams, his arrogance and pride just prevents him from saying, you know, I really don't know. I don't know what the hard pots is going to look like. It says we're going to be snatched up. We're going to go up. But I don't know what that's going to look like. That's what he should be saying. See, I don't know. I I don't know what it means, snatched up. The Bible doesn't make it seem like it's gonna, everyone's going to happen at once. That one little verse makes it sound like it might happen that way, but <clears throat> that might just be a parable to deceive people. I think Tony should worry more about his own self than trying to tell us what to do um, for whoever has shall be given more whoever doesn't have even what they have is going to be taken away therefore I speak to them in parables because they seen see not in hearing they hear not neither do they understand <sighs> My personal opinion, my personal study, the depth of my knowledge tells me, <clears throat> and it, it doesn't take a whole lot of gifting or extra knowledge or intelligence level. If you are in the scriptures for any amount of time, you understand that more likely than not, <clears throat> what the Lord wants you to do is give yourself up. Let 
let me say it again. The Bible, everything points, the Bible, everything in the Bible points to your personal salvation is through <clears throat> relinquishing any will or power of your own onto God. It's not rocket science. And it's a beautiful thing. If you can, if you understand the beauty of giving, <clears throat> it's better to give than to receive. If you understand just that worldly, basic feeling of, I love being able to love someone. I love being able to give. Share. Um, and the Bible becomes a lot simpler when you put that worldly perspective into you, your own belief system. So let's let's keep reading about why why it's a mystery. What is this mystery that keeps coming up in the Bible? The mystery is God's a spirit. And so anything fleshy or anything materialistic doesn't have value. So the whole Bible is speaking to your spirit, not to your, not to your body, not to your materialistic side, not to your fleshy side. It's talking to your spirit. You got to worship in spirit and truth. So it's <clears throat> somewhat mind boggling. Hold on. I'll be back. <clears throat> Clear my damn throat. I'll be back.